diagonal matrix has non-zero elements along its main diagonal, and zeros elsewhere. The leftmost matrix, everywhere except the main diagonal, has zeros, and there are non-zero entries along the main diagonal. So this is a diagonal matrix. Even though, the matrix in the middle, and on the right, are not the square matrices, they have non-zero entries only along the main diagonal and zeros elsewhere. So they too, are considered as diagonal matrices. A matrix is considered to be symmetric, if its transpose is equal to the initial matrix. Consider the matrix A, if we take its transpose, we will obtain the result, which is equal to A. So the transpose of A, is equal to A. This makes A, a symmetric matrix. A unit vector, has a unit Euclidean norm. Consider a vector X, if we find the Euclidean norm of this vector, we will learn that it is equal to 1. This means that the vector X, is a unit vector. Vectors are orthogonal to each other, if their dot product is equal to 0. Consider the vectors X, and Y. The dot product of these vectors result in 0, so they are orthogonal to each other. Orthonormal vectors, are orthogonal vectors with unit Euclidean norm. If the vectors X and Y, both had a unit norm and were orthogonal, we would say that they are orthonormal. Orthogonal matrices are square matrices, that have mutually orthonormal columns, as well as mutually orthonormal rows. Matrix A, is an orthogonal matrix. What's special about orthogonal matrices, are their properties. The matrix product with its transpose, results in an identity matrix. This happens, because the transpose and inverse of the orthogonal matrices are equal.